today I received some plant mail. I thought I would open it up with you. I'm a little nervous because the end of the box looks like that. Hopefully it's okay. I ordered this from Paradise Found Nursery and they're in Florida. This is a whole other genre of plant that I'm also now kind of obsessed with. Um, so far I've only got two in this plant family in my collection, but I'm adding a whole heck of a lot more today. And I think this is a really underrated plant. I think people might be scared of it because they've been told that it stinks. And I had mine flower last year, one of them, and I didn't smell anything. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it's uh, thundering. So each one of these plants were about, they were either like nine or 10, well, nine to $11 for each of them. And I've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And I'm hoping they're not smushed. I've got newspaper in here to cushion it. I'm worried because, oh, they send them bare root. That's why. I'm like, wow, they don't take up very much space. They must be tiny, but it's because they're bare root. So, let me open up this invoice so that I can tell you what these plants are. And I'm going to show, I'm going to insert a picture of what they'll look like, the flowers, when they grow up. Hopefully, they've put a paper in here to tell me what they are. Because these plants do look all very similar. Really, the only way you can tell them apart is the flower. Well, some of them are a little different, but okay. So here's the first one. Do y'all know what these are? This is a stipulia, and they did label them for me. Thank you very much. And it looks like this stipulia actually has a little bud on it. And this little bud is gonna grow up to look like this. So take a look at that while I find the price for you. This is the Orba Variegata, and it was $9. Next plant, okay? This one is called the Huernia, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Huernia, what's your last name? Stipilio, Stipilioides, and that's that one. I mean, they're really not much to look at right now, but you grow these ones mainly for the flowers. It's got some nice big roots on there. And this one, what were you called? It's Stipilioides. So this one was $10. And check out this flower. And I do have a stuffy nose, but I literally held up, because I've got the Lifesaver. I'm gonna insert a picture of my Lifesaver plant from last year. When those flowers opened, I had to go around and show them to my neighbors. I sent everyone I know a picture. <laughs> I went and showed my mom and dad, like they are totally out of this world. It's like, that cannot be real. They are incredible. So, but anyway, I stuck the thing right up to my nose and I couldn't smell anything bad. Um, because a lot of people say they smell like death, but I didn't notice anything. And I'm pretty sensitive about smells too. Like if there's a bad smell, I feel like I can smell it. This one's called the Stapilia Shinsei. This one, Shinsei, where are you? Okay, this one was $10. And I'm just going to kind of pull it out here so you can sort of see it. This one looks a little bit different than the others. It's kind of more round. But, uh, and not as, like, doesn't have the pokey things on it as much. 
pretty cool. Look at the flower. Next. This is so much fun. I think the last plant order I did was when I ordered my rip salad. And that was probably a couple months ago. So that's pretty kind of a long time for me. Okay, this one is not labeled. So we'll hang off on this one. Hopefully we can narrow it down. Hopefully the rest of them are marked because I really don't have any idea. Have you guys been plant shopping a lot with like being bored and that? I have to keep stopping myself. So I've been buying a lot of plants for outside. Are you guys interested in seeing those kind of plants or are you more just all about the inside? Ooh, this one's a little different. It's kind of purple. And it's more, it's actually got the little prickles on it. This one's called the Huernia Hystrix. Hystrix. Put the flower up there for you. Oh, also called the porcupine flower. So that makes sense why it has these little pricks on it. And this one was $10. Show you that plant close up. The plants really aren't, I mean, I like them, but they're really not, you probably wouldn't buy this just for the plant. But the flowers, that's, that's what I bought them for anyway. All righty. Oh no, this one isn't marked either. Well, shoot. So I guess I won't be able to tell what these are. Well, I might be able to. Because they're pretty different, those two. Alright, this one's called the Huernia Sudanensis. Check out this flower. And this one was $8.50. it out here. This one's, I mean, they are a little bit different once you look at them. So he's just a little feller. They're all pretty small. So this is my pot of it, the Gramiflora, and it's actually starting to get some buds right here. So I'm pretty excited. They're going to grow up to look like this. And then my other plant, I already showed you the pictures of the flowers on this one. This is the Lifesaver plant. I love this. I got, I like I told you, I was so excited when it flowered. And if you look right here, see that? It's got a bloom coming on already. And it blooms over and over all summer. How fun is it gonna be when I have all these blooming all summer here in the center? So we have two left. Hang on, let me figure out what they are. So one of these, I don't know which one's which until I look it up. So I'm just gonna show you the plant up close and then I will put the price and the plant along the bottom of the screen and show you the picture. So here we go, here's this one. I know the flower's cool though, so I hope you're enjoying this shot of the flower. Really awesome. Okay. And then this one. Check out that flower. So cool. So um, you might want to consider this Stapelia for your collection. If you've got a nice south window that's pretty much all they need. They need a lot of light. You can even put them outside. Um, you don't have to water them very often. Just water them when they're dry. And yeah, they're easy. And those blooms, you guys, I'm not kidding. I, I love Hoyas and I love the Hoya blooms. Love them. They don't look real either, but these ones look even less real than a Hoya bloom. They look like something from another planet. So yeah, highly recommend these. Um, I, like I said, I did notice a smell, and if you do notice a smell, it's usually just the flowers. You could always grow them outside, 
during the summer while they're flowering if you can smell them and then it wouldn't be so bad. But it's not anyway, at least not for me. What else? I think you can fertilize them every so often. I use fish water to fertilize mine or yeah, all mine are out here in the sunroom. So yeah, they get the fish water, but you could probably fertilize them. I always recommend the weaker weekly method where you just add the fertilizer to your water and do it at like half or even a quarter the recommended strength every time you water during the growing season, of course. And like there's really no pruning or anything required on these. Yeah, they're really easy. And they probably prefer a terracotta pot, some really good draining soil with some sand in it. A small pot, you don't wanna put them in a huge pot. Yeah, literally just set them in good sun, good bright hot sun and you'll get flowers all summer and it'll be so much fun. <laughs> I think I said everything, didn't I? Oh, propagating. To propagate these, you can just take off a little section of them, one of their little arms, maybe let it dry for a little bit and just stick it right in the soil and it will grow roots on it and bada bing, bada bang, you got a new plant. So that's it, they're super easy and I don't hardly ever hear people talk about them. I do see pictures on Instagram, but I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen a video about stapelia. So let me know in the comments if you grow any stapelia and what variety you have and what your experience has been with it. Have you gotten it to flower? Did you think the flowers stunk? And anything else you want to tell me about stapelia, I would love to hear about it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have the best day of your life and remember to plant on.